What's up, everybody? That's right here with more East 9. Ultra Knox. Um, last time, Renegade joined our party. Or Jewels. A uh, little handicap kid. Um, Leave it to me. My turn. It's very long distance yeah. fighting, magic staff. Yeah. Very slow for me. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Little handicap kid. But. So he can travel with us, actually through town and stuff. He um, goes into his monster form and then just, you know, changes his clothes. Kind of smart, but at least that way he can walk with us. So I did grind out the trophy where I just left my, um, my, my Xbox PlayStation on. And the space just stood here. And that gave me the trophy for, you know, controlling him for long enough. Um, money trophy... I think it's like a million gold. So that one pretty much towards the end of the game will just end up saving and selling everything that should probably give me there. Uh, then I'll have to grind in game two for skills and levels. Which honestly I don't tend to really have to grind for because we have to do new game plus on the hardest difficulty anyway. But if I'm running max level in, it'll be a fucking cakewalk. Because eight, I don't remember if I was max level when I did eight new game plus, but that shit was really easy. Alright, um, anyways, when we left off, we needed to go into the catacombs. And then I forgot we're not completed here. Because, like, this area I can't get to. And that should probably put us at the, um, and over here, we don't let me go either. I'm assuming it's probably the same area. But yeah. But we did finish off Balduke 2 in the town. So the town's 100%. Um, where the hell are we getting this other 50% explored? I'm assuming this is from outside. But it's a lot of space. Did I not unlock this? Something's there. I didn't. Whoops. Oh, that's where I'm going anyways. Um, but yeah, but this area I can't get into. And then up here I can get up. Well, I don't know. I don't think I have a... I should have the ability to, though. I'm just going to get like a Sacramento that lets me up there. You know what? And I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, that's why it was blocked. And then you don't get knocks from these guys. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna... That's what it was. It's been like a week since I played this. Um, Alright, anyways. Let's go back here. And then here. Wait, am I gonna have to like glide over there? I think I am. Found a tombstone. What about it? The base of the tombstone scraped as if something heavy was dragged along it. You push against it with all your might. Hidden passage? There's a discernible draft emanating from inside. It's the entrance to the catacombs. So it seems. That's kind of impressive, Adel. Um, it's my adventurer's intuition. Intuition? I see. What? You're not waiting for a hack and as expected for Adel the Red, are you? Adel the Red? <laughs> That's the best you came up with. 
I didn't make it up. That's why they call Adol. Self-proclaimed adventurer entangled in mysterious events wherever he travels. He was a key player in the disappearance of the Roman fleet or the Roman fleet in the Atlas Ocean. That's what they wrote on his bottom. That's what he. Oh my God. That's what they wrote on his wanted posters, at least. Yeah. Uh, I might have read something like that. The Roman Empire considers him to be one of their biggest threats. When Carla first told me about him, I imagined someone much scarier. That would mean that Adel is a more notorious outlaw than the feral hawk. <laughs> Don't be fooled by that plush expression. It's a bona fide criminal. Uh, let's go to the catacombs, guys. <laughs> Adel of Red, workaholic extraordinaire. The key to breaking the curse could be in these catacombs. Let's go, Adel. Oh yeah, Renegade doesn't want to break the curse either. I mean, I wouldn't either. I mean, think about it. It's freedom of movement now. This is... pleasant. It's about as creepy as you'd expect from an underground graveyard. As I said, the, what's weird is the names are their like non monstrum form. But usually it tells it when they says like their monstrum name, like they're in that form. That's, I don't know why I just do that now. As I said, these crypts were originally built by those who escaped in the wrath of Luki's followers. Just after Glia embraced the hieroglyph faith, the Norse believers were readily persecuted. Supposedly, whoever conducted the rituals continued doing so down here. Persecution? The hieroglyph church did that? And those who administered it were none other than their fellow Gleans. If you ask me, the Hieroglyph Faith was nothing more than the tool used to govern. Not that I haven't already been saying as much. Uh huh, so that's how it went. In any case, it's a little dusty down here. Are you feeling alright? Should be fine. My illness seems to be kept at bay whenever I'm in my monstrum form. Let's keep moving, Adel. <laughs> I just do need to keep an eye on their skills because it does count when they use them themselves. But it's going to take a while to grind all this out. I'm not looking forward to it. Actually, how are we doing level wise? Because I kind of want everyone to run the same. Ooh, 42. Um. Probably the most fun party to play with. These three. There. Oh, I forgot he has shadow dive too, so he can go into the ground. Um, how many treasure do I have in here? I don't think it's gonna tell me. Is it? Oh, there we go. Nineteen. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Still got a flash guard and flash dodge everything a hundred times too, but I'm sure that'll come eventually. Same with like um, boosting a hundred times. Can we go down here? No. Do, 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 do. That skill is fucking badass. Come on, pull the lever. Do do do. I really like this dungeon song. Oh, 
Yeah, they may be level 47, but they still get wrecked. He said it's gotta be an entrance somewhere. Strength elixir. Whoops. Should I switch up here first? I don't think there's anything up here anyways. Alright, we gotta break everything like a hundred times to you. That should come easy though too, but I didn't mean to switch to you. Just gotta hold down square. There you go. It's almost like worth a big the mash up abilities out. He's level 90, I gotta ignore him. He's probably seeing one shot me if he's fucking half my level. Do one damage each time. I think he's generating himself, though. Oops. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Dude, I can't fucking move. Well, that's fantastic. It's the first time I'd use one of those. I can get through through there because there's like a gated off. Up yours. Alright, well, there's the gate I was talking about. Let's done flash guard healed. Um, I'm finding the Marys right now. Do I need new costumes for you? Oh, I did have the red one, huh? Yeah, I like the blue. Do your eyes go red with this one? No. 
Oh, he had the glasses, but he looks like weird as shit. Um... I think everything better for you. I put this on them because that'll be good when you grind up too, but maybe I should put them back in the party like that. Eh, it's fine. Oh, oh my god, why did I just jump to my death? I'll worry about that when I like grind it out. Actually, I think when you damage them, it, um, just some of your gift gauge. Oh, it does run out pretty fast with the ability. Holy shit. Let's put that high level guy's inside this room. It's a chest here. Damn it, will you run up the straight in the middle? Thank you. Yeah, there's no opening. Great. A treasure chest. I guess that works. Oh, bullshit. Wicked Grimoire. It's probably a skill for a um, renegade. Yep. So far, he's the only enemy here that has a weakness to him, so might as well just stay, stay on him. You know, I didn't see a trophy for it was the max now. Oh, that should um, be upgrade for Dogie. I know there was. A trophy for that in um in eight. Must not be one for it in here though. Let's say I overlooked it. Could have been one of the hidden ones too. I didn't really go through those. Not that way. Basta. It's a ghost. Then no worries. I like how it's a weak lower level than a uh, Wait, there's more than one. And the enemy's here. Oh, there's three of them. They don't attack very often. I 
don't know how that didn't count. Oh, he moved. Oh, it looks like it must be different. Skills, huh? Yeah, I might as well take out these weaker ones first for the free experience. Oh no! This count towards their overall health. Interesting. Not bad. This place is huge. What is it? What could that be? It's beautiful. Looks like some kind of ancient mural. That central figure resembles the deity statue outside. That's Grimnir, king of the gods. Since he's wearing a mask, this mural must predate the Hundred Years' War. The figures depicted around him are his demigod warriors. Demigods? What are those? They were the half-human, half-god servants of Grimnir. Hey, guys, get a load of that. Isn't that... It's... Red moons? Could it be? Could it be? Is that the Grimwald Dumax? Don't those monsters look familiar to you guys? There's no doubt about it. And those people fighting the monsters are Grimnir's demigods. This must mean that the Grimwald Nox has been appearing since ancient times. It's just like Aprilis said. But this doesn't give us all the answers. Still, we might learn something important by observing these relics of the past. So, we are getting closer to the truth, right? The catacombs go deeper in that way. The sooner we finish searching this hellhole, the sooner we can get out. But it doesn't make sense. It isn't Monstrums fighting the Lemuries in this, but the demigods. I have even more questions now than I had before. Hey, what is that over there? Maybe, Maybe the demigods are... It's hard to Monstrums? tell here. There's no end to the secrets this city holds. There's something here. Found something good. Um, where is it? It's above me.
We're leveling up a lot in here. Yes, they are. I mean, they were 42, now they're 46. What are you having me look at? Is there an enemy up there? Oh, there he is. Okay. What the fuck was that? So he's got a big ass laser, the little guy. that jump. Let me go back to the other side really quick. To get up there. My God, so touchy. Damn it. I wish you would come down here. Where the fuck is this chest? Dude, I've missed every skill against this guy. So just ignore it. Right, that's the way I want to go, so let's not go that way. There's a landmark in here too. Make sure I land on the rock. More gold, very nice. Oh, what? Well, I tried to double jump there, but I mean, I still made it. That's fine. I don't know how I missed that jump in the first place. Collect all the materials. Oh shit. I almost passed that. 
There's the blade ring three. It's almost like this town's like sunken. The Great Bell Bridge. Yeah, there's the bell. Something's there. Oh, it's higher. Huh. Eagle Eye Orb, right? That's definitely Sacramento. It's called Sacramento. That's what they are in here. Yep. Increased mapping range. You know what? It's actually not bad. I already am 50% done with the map, so like, is it worth putting it on now, though? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe if I'm like, exploring like out in the you know, open on the dungeon. We'll explore it all. So do you want to go this way then? Almost fell. This guy was hiding back there. A treasure chest. Six bitter remedies. All right. Chest over here. A treasure chest. Onyx spell. Evade five and deer fatal blow. Okay. doing exploring this place pretty good all right I think that's oh I missed a corner down there right. I go back um over here I missed this side Go down here. What the? Nope.
Um, what? So confused. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, this is the way I wanted to go, though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. I mean, dumb. I mean, to switch. It's over. What was Warrior Seal? Skill XP gain plus three. Oh, that is very nice. Um, I'm almost have to put it on. Like whoever I'm using, like playing as myself, I'll probably just put that on. One of the slots. I wonder if you can get plus four if you like. If it adds up, it probably does. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Screw it. The stats drop a little bit, but whatever. I forgot what it was called. Oh wait, you must only be able to put on one. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't work. Well, never mind. Uh, it's a chest up there. More chests. Another red chest? Very nice. Oops. Full potion. It's sealed shut. There must be something I can do to open it. Yeah, how about I just smash everything in sight? No, you found Oh shit. I got a big guy. I guarantee it's probably another one on this side. Yep. Oh, he bum rushes. I don't like that. Heal him really quick. Probably should make this too. This baked potato stuff. Or even anything that's like higher more XP bus boost. It's not bad. This revives? Holy shit. I didn't even know that. I'm gonna use that earlier. Doing a lot of revival stuff. Oh my god. Right. 
kill here. Wait, do I have to do it like a certain order? Ugh. Oh, I see they're they're numbered. These are all in order though. Leave me alone. Dude, you're not dead yet? Jesus. Um, oh, we do have to go down. Can't reach it. Do 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 do. Some cheese. Let's take those. I, thought I saw something down here, didn't I? Maybe I'm tripping. Right, that's the last chest. I'm only 87%. Doesn't seem right. I mean, it's all explored. It is another enormous room. Look, Adolf, there's another mural. <laughs> um, that ain't no mural. Looking than the other ones. That thing's a giant ass centipede or something. It's not a mural, it's a sculpture. A primordial? Or just an oversized centipede? It doesn't look like it predates the Hundred Years War. You're right. Unlike those other murals back there, this one's a hell of a lot more realistic. It looks like it'll come to life at any moment. Careful. Uh, what was that? What's causing it? You ready for battle? <laughs> this day keeps getting better and better. Is that, is that poison? poison? It's rising. Keep moving up the stairs. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, I want to go home. Yeah, well, I can't hit him yet. Um. Weak to this thing. Oh, nobody? Okay. Taking way too much damage. Oh, 
and it's dying pretty quick, but it does do just like a lot of shit to look out for in this way. Overdrive, alright, so that's my hundred boosts. Oh yeah, there's one more. Here I just waited for me to kill it. Shit, round two. Damn, this guy's huge. We're at the top now. I hate it. It's gross and it won't die. Don't know about you guys, but I'm having a fall. It is growing noticeably weaker. We must double our offensive. So I am hitting the spikes again. Ugh. Oh, at least I can't get up here on it. Oh no, don't fall. Boss, but I like it, but it really does that pretty quick. Oh shit! Oh, wow, he's almost dead. Just trying to see if I can dodge his ass. Can run away from me faster, you little ass. I know I want to hit his face. I like that fight. Why can't I keep learning fucking skills, man? See, so yeah, there are 60 skills at the max, so oh joy. Gah. Never expected a giant centipede to come barreling right out from the uh, come barreling right out from the wall. No kidding, I think I'm still in shock. That was one weird monster, wasn't it? Indeed. It differed considerably from those found in the Grimwall Knox. Didn't seem like it was native to the area either. Let's get to, let's get to step in. Looks like this place goes even deeper from here. Wow, the boss fight took me ten percent. I mean, I'll take it. Hundred percent right, done and nineteen of nineteen. Huh? 
You know, I kind of feel like I've been here before. Oh wow, gave it away. We only end up in the prison literally every time. The prison? Then this is where... Oh, yeah, I forgot that the... I missed some chests in the prison. Let's keep searching. Thought you'd say as much, Shadow the Red. No sense turning back. Let's investigate the place as thoroughly as we can. Someone's raring to go. What happened to being sick? In any case, this means that even the catacombs are connected to the prison. Emergency preparedness I can get, but how many escape routes does one place even need? Is something the matter, Krisha? Oh, um, it just seems quieter here than the prison usually is. Let us proceed with caution, then. We cannot know what awaits us ahead. So I'm hoping Adol and them. Actually, I wonder if this is the place that we were in with Prisoner Adol. I'm not sure that I can't. I gotta look. Cause there's some stuff I don't think he can reach, and then we have to reach him with these guys. I'm not familiar with the equipment in here. This must be a laboratory where advanced experiments are conducted. What kind of experiments could they be doing in here? I don't like this one bit. Something on your mind, Anamona? Pardon me. I was merely distracted. Distracted? Are you feeling unwell? I am a doll, so I do not suffer such ailments. Who are you people? How did you get in here? I should report the lot of you. Yeah? I'd like to see you try, old man. Wait, Huck! He doesn't look like he works for the prison. I detect no other presence in the vicinity. He is alone. Uh, how? Does he know Dad? him? Oh, shit. Give yourself away, I guess. I mean... His dad's been missing for a while, so it kind of makes sense. Dad, is that you? What? Jewels? It can't be. You're Jewels, aren't you? <laughs> Jewels! But my son! It really is you, Dad. Jewels, your legs. Your condition has gotten worse, hasn't it? He really is Jules's father. I'm so glad you found him. But wasn't his father being held as a prisoner? He's right. What are you doing in a lab? Do you have any idea how worried Mom is about you? <sighs> Dad? You all must be the monsters. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Smirnov Noah. I was once a doctor in Baldur. I know you. You're a famous doc. What's a guy like you doing in a dump like this? As I'm sure you've all speculated, I'm helping someone conduct experiments. Helping who? And what kind of experiments? <clears throat> this is just a gut feeling, but what comes to mind when you think experiments? You know, all those preposterous things we've seen around here. I like fusing shit together. I mean, it makes sense. I kind of called that from the beginning. Do you mean... The primordials. I see. So, you were the ones who broke into the restricted set. Dad. <laughs> I bet that giant centipede was your doing too, huh? Can't believe it. Why would you create these monsters? Who are you working for? 
get it. He ain't talking. Whatever it is, it's apparently more important than his precious son's disease. Dad? Harsh, oh, but kind of true. Hieroglyph Knights? The Hieroglyph Knights? <laughs> that would be the logical conclusion. What you've all seen was only a glimpse of the complete truth. But a word of caution. If you choose to delve further into the truth of this prison, you will be faced with a difficult choice. That must be what Aprilis was referring to. Chatelard was yammering on about something similar. We intended to discover the truth. Hmm. You're just as I heard you to be, Crimson. But I've already divulged more than I should have. And I cannot return home until my work here is finished. You never think of anyone but yourself. I used to be grateful to you. You took me in. Made me feel like I was your real son. Real son? But you abandoned mom. You forced her to take care of me all by herself. So the, uh, the fact that they're all adopted has something to do with this too. So we know Yufa is, we know um, Credo is, Krish is. I don't think he's adopted Adel. Is Adel adopted? I don't think so. You despised me so much, then you should have just said so! Jules. For some reason, Mom still won't give up on you. Everyone looks at her like the wife whose husband left her with a broken kid. Despite all that, she still waits for you to come home. Every day. You can't even begin to imagine how much she's gone through because of you. Do either of us actually mean anything to you at all? I won't be your burden for much longer anyway. But before that, I'm going to bring you back to Mom. Even if I have to drag you the whole way. Jules, calm down. It all makes sense now. His final nail in the coffin. Work hard so the ones looking after me can live in peace. Bring back that deadbeat so I can thank him properly. He was writing about his mom and dad. Jules. I'm sorry. I truly wish I could, but I cannot leave this prison. I cannot let this all go to waste. Wow. Well. I'm glad I could see you, my son. What? Dad? Inmate 217. Wow, he knows who we are. How do you know that number? You really are at all Kristen. Slowly but surely, you draw nearer toward the center of the web. Each step you take will be more dangerous than the last. I hate to ask this of you, but please, take care of Jules. Take care of my son. Wait! He's gone! What... Uh, what happened to him? It appears he has escaped our grasp. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. I really like this story. I have to say, I think 8's still my favorite gameplay-wise. I mean, this is exactly similar, but I think I like 8's world better. But this story, this one, is um, better. It's like more like um, character-driven. I mean, 8 was too, but mainly from Donna's perspective. You did good, Jules. I... I... Jules. We were able to retrieve some valuable information. We are now aware that there are experiments involving monsters and primordials, and that it is all somehow related to our curses. Yes, and that Jules' father is working for someone. But who could it be? That I do not know. Whoever it is, they've it's got gotta to be Shadow Lord. Maybe 
Maybe it's the man Aprilis was talking about. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Never mind, it's that guy. The mutual acquaintance between her and Shadowlar. That may be the most probable answer. It's the best lead we've got right now. I'd wager that oh-so-virtuous Master Shadowlar is laying a scheme as we speak. Adol, let's return to the Dandelion. It's been a long day. I think everyone could use some rest. Right. Yeah, the fact there's only nine chapters in this game, and we're already on chapter six, and like I said, the map, we're still 50%. We only have like half of it cleared in with the chests. It makes me think that these last couple chapters are going to be really long. Then I would advise against lingering here for much longer. Let us depart at once. 